and there's the adults that have been here a long time and now five minutes sleep. Well, I tell a story that'll probably be told several times, but whoops, hopefully for the kids it'll be the first time they've heard it. And for most of the adults, I think it'll be the first time as well. Now, this story starts a long, long time ago when I was, what age are you, Brian? What age are you? 11, about a year younger than him. About a year younger than him. <coughs> and we had a big, thick, thick hedge between us and our next door neighbors. And in the summer, we used to spread a blanket on top of this big, thick hedge and go up and sit on it. Don't ask me why, but that's what we did. And we had a pussycat. Did any of us have a pussycat? Yes, one, two, three, four, oh, quite a few cats. Well, we had this cat, and it was an enormous ginger tall. It was one of the biggest cats we've ever seen. And it did not like the dog next door. And the dog next door definitely didn't like the cat. And any time our cat went into its garden, it was a corgi, and it used to run and try and get the cat. But the cat was always too quick for it. But this one day, we were on top of the hedge, sitting in the sun, and the cat was in the garden next door, but the corgi came from the bottom of the garden and surprised the cat. And the cat had nowhere to go to run away to. So it ran up the garden and jumped onto a windowsill that was about that high above the ground. And the cat sat on the windowsill, and the corgi was going, rawr, 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 trying to jump up and get the cat. But it couldn't get the cat. The cat was perfectly safe, and it knew it. And it just sat there, bided its time, and just waited till the corgi tired. And eventually the corgi got fed up, jumping up and down, trying to get the cat. And it turned and went to walk away. And the ginger tom took one big spring and landed on the corgi's back and shredded the corgi's ears with its claws. And that corgi never bothered that dog again. But, sorry, that corgi <laughs> never bothered the cat again. The cat had peace, it could have gone anywhere then, and the corgi never barked at it again. But, what I'm trying to bring out of the story is, the cat was quiet, not appearing to be any threat to the dog, and the dog ignored it. And it's the same in our life. The devil is always there. He's quiet in the background most of the time. And it's when we don't expect it that he'll put temptation in our way. He will come and catch us when our guard's down. So the important thing is to daily ask Jesus to keep us away from temptation and to keep our guard up so that we never get caught when we ignore the devil and forget about him. People will tell you the devil doesn't exist. He's there and he's there to tempt us. So never forget that you always keep Jesus on your side and keep the devil out of the way. Okay, thank you very much for listening. And the next time you see a big ginger core, a uh, big ginger dog, I'll get it right yet. Next time you see a big ginger cat, look out for the corgi barking at it. <laughs> Okay, enjoy the rest of the